So before we get into Puddin's build in the Hindenburg, some characteristics about her. We were talking during the break. She's been... Sea Raptor says she's been power crept. I would argue she hasn't been power crept. I think it's more of the fact that Warships has changed. It's moved away from strategic, long-term decision-making, allowing impacts in games to short-term burst, deer damage, get the kill, whatever. Hindenburg doesn't belong in that kind of a meta. Towards the end of a game, maybe. But by that point, you've either already decided the game or the game is a loss and you're just trying to save your star. Hindenburg is the ship that plays at medium to long range, especially long range. It farms enemies with HE shells and when it's needed, pushes in with AP and torpedoes. Hindenburg has one quarter HE pen, so 203 divided by four. She will penetrate 50 millimeters of armor, which is huge. She will penetrate Moscow, uh, Moscow, I mean, she'll penetrate Stalingrad, she'll penetrate uh, German battleships. She'll penetrate just about everything except for Russian battleships. Go figure. Um, so she's very simple to play. You just fire HE at the enemy and laugh at long range. Her AP is no joke either, especially at when you need the push and catch ships broadside. Correct. Uh, it might not be able to sit it out battleships, Correct. you can definitely slap uh, Petros, Minos, other heavy and light Correct. cruisers. At closer and, range, her AP is fantastic, yes. And then, of course, she's got 16 of the 6 kilometer torts, standard mm -hmm. issue. Those yep. are good for drive-bys. Absolutely. And like I said, by the end of the game, she's either going to win or she's going to lose. And it doesn't... The point I'm getting at by, is that by, the, by that point, it probably doesn't matter one way or another, right? So, Hindenburg is is generally a ship that you will, you know, fire, uh, play at long range. And then when it doesn't matter anymore, that's when you kind of get into it. Uh, Putin, would you agree with that statement? Yeah. I mean, the AP, but like, even at range, the AP slaps, but they have to be completely flat bar outside. Right. Okay. Uh, so let's talk about your build, Sergeant Major Skills. Hello, I will shout you out in just a moment. So you are playing Hindenburg with the unique upgrade. Now that's very interesting that you've got the unique upgrade. Because, so basically that, that makes it more difficult for you to be set on fire and for you to be flooded. It helps you recover from just about everything that could happen to you at max range. You give up the concealment module for it, or you give up double rudder for it. But do you do you like this module, Puddin? I prefer this module just due to all the AG that has swung at high tiers. Okay. Like I mean, there's battleships that literally still swing AG, and sure. I'm not talking just the British. Okay. I tried it. I personally rather have the rudder shift. Mm -hmm. I, I always had the battleships and not changing it off Hindenburg, but Hindenburg does have a nickname, Battleship Hindenburg, for a reason. It's got a turtle back, yeah. Um, sorry, Grunty, what were you saying? I, I always found myself like that the Hindenburg doesn't die because she gets burned down or gets flooded out. Like, okay. the Hindenburg, like, slowly takes, like, chip damage from AP shuttles and so on. And uh, most of the time when you actually die mm -hmm. is because, like, you got somewhat slapped in the side. Like, I really, really don't think that you need all this fire reduction and that kind of stuff. Okay. So I, I'd rather be able to dodge the shells in the first place. So Hindenburg has a turtle back, which means at long range to medium range, those shells that are coming in, we talked about it earlier, will plunge in and hit the Citadel flat on its side. The Citadel's at an angle, but the shells coming in hit it almost perpendicular to that angle, causing a Citadel. At close range, the shells come in like this, and then they bounce off the Citadel. So that'll cause penetrations, but it won't cause a Citadel. So that's why Hindenburg is a fantastic close range ship. He's not so good at long range, though. Unless you're playing a Kaidi ship that's going to spam HE. That's the way I like to play her personally. Okay. 
Uh, let's continue taking a look at the rest of your ability. You've got range module. You've got planes. Hydro, of course, instead of defensive anti-air. Main battery mod, too. Putin, why are you trying to turn your turrets quickly? Are, are you finding that that's very important for you? Well, I mean, if I can't get my turrets on something to shoot, I can't shoot it. It's 17 so, seconds with that. What's it with I would like 19? Like... But what, what it allows me to do is make the turn to keep the turret on my target. Right. That's, you, you can do that, that without that module. Th that is the reason I'm taking turret reverse. So I would say, I mean, if you play mostly long range, I'd go for aiming systems. If you're playing mostly short range, then turret reverse makes sense. Oh, it comes down to how you play the ship. Even so, close range, 19 seconds is good enough. Honestly... When it comes to that one second to determine whether or not you're going to get the, the hit or not, I understand why um, why you want that turret reverse. And I was just an idiot, and I derped, and I missed the uh, number of kills and crap in stream haters. I'm sorry, guys. <sighs> I got distracted! Anyway. I also don't think that the damage gone in slot 4, especially if you run the legendary mod, like the, the the way how they work together, you get such a little bonus out of that. I don't think that is worth it at all. I, say, I say this is probably the one game where all of this matters. Okay. Like this the is one this out is, of how many. Right, this is probably the exception. <laughs> So, I will say this. If you're playing a kiting away game, I think propulsion makes sense. I, I, I agree with Grunty. Damage control probably isn't going to help. Uh, but propulsion makes sense. Otherwise, I wouldn't worry about steering gears. I certainly wouldn't worry about depth charges because you don't have air depth charges, right? You have roll-off depth charges. Right. So, whatever. I'm depriving a sub. He colossally messed up. All right. Are you playing a special captain or is it just standard? It's standard. Okay. So your build, you've got Grease the Gears, Demolition Expert, Superintendent, Concealment Expert, Gun Feeder, Adrenaline Rush, uh, Swift Fish. I had one point left over. Like, that was Friday literally target. the last point. Okay, Friday Target, Radio Location. Very interesting build. I probably, instead of Swift Fish, I probably would have gone for Last Stand. Like, okay. honestly, like, if you play that the long range, that. if you play long range kiting style, I just don't see the value in radio location. I'm, I'm like, fine. I really don't for a Hindenburg. I, I, I'm just, I'm a slave to it. Mm. It's like, free information for me. Like, like I, I don't do. utilize the other skills as much hey, as Patton, knowing Patton. where they're at. I would I would drop that radio location and the swift fish and pick up the survivability expert and the consume uh, and the eye in the sky. Patton, this will most likely be the last replay for the day, but of course there's also Sunday. Um, I believe there's a patch coming next week, so if that's the case, Sunday is it for cover my replays, uh, channel points or subs. So keep that in mind. Um, Look, I will say this. I agree with Putin that it's nice to know where the nearest enemy is. It does give him information he otherwise wouldn't have had. Is the Hindenburg the best ship to go and hunt a destroyer? Hell no. The only thing that the Hindenburg has going for it is Hydro, right? That's about it. I now, will say I learned how to play the Hindenburg from clan battles. Sure. In a competitive environment, this makes sense. Right, in so a I'm just battle, a slave to what I know. In a random battle, knowing where a destroyer is, where where the nearest ship is, can still help you because it allows you to just W towards that person's position. Is that going to end up impacting the game? In a random battle, the answer is maybe. In a competitive environment like ranked or clan battles, and just more than likely, yes. So I understand what you're saying, Putin. Now, I still think Last Stand is a better choice than Switchfish. You don't need Last Stand on a Hindenburg. Why? 
She absolutely has no problem with rudder range and durability. So I have found, in, and I found this mode in clan battles, I do lose my engine. It's when I get citadeled by a Stalingrad or whatever. The rudder, you never know. But to me, I find this more helpful than getting my torpedoes ready sooner. You know what I mean? In my opinion, you're probably going to use those torpedoes and then you're either going to die I mean, or you're going to kill the target. One of the two. I, I mean, I agree. Like, that, that swift fish talent is like, you don't need that point whatsoever. Right. Like, if, if you don't want to respec and you have that one spare point, I'd probably right. still take consumable specialist over it. But if, if you if you really want the last stand, then you take it. What do you get for consumables? Is like, spotting aircraft cooldown time? That's really it. Yeah. Hydro soon too, but yeah, spotting, spot a plane. Hydro? I, mean, I don't see anything about hydro on this. No, it's just yeah, not yet, <laughs> not yet. In in the future with twelve point ten. I mean, like I said, that was. Good night, Iron like, It's the last point. Like, okay, I, I really never get the engines or rudder knocked down. If I do, I just hit R. Mm -hmm. Oh no! If I get set on fire, I've got all that stuff stacked up to put the fire out while my. Mm -hmm. Repair parties on cooldown. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Like, I, yeah. I don't care about, oh, somebody's shooting me. I care about how many people are shooting me. Right? So, right, which I got my priority target target for that. It's just like, yep. where the hell do I really put this last point at? I mean, I'll, I'll put it in a torpedo. Nobody expects that. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, faster torpedoes, fine. Six kilometers, whatever. Let like, us... I, I don't play the Hindenburg to get my torps off. Like, that, that's, that's what I'm. That's kind an of, oh shit moment. Like, oh crap, I better tarp this guy. That, that's kind of what I'm trying to get at, right? Like, okay, fine. Let's get to your flags. Anti debt, fire chance, one of them. Uh, fire reduction, flood reduction, heal boost, speed, anti air. So, why not the other fire chance flag? I don't think I need it. Why not the consumables flag? Yeah, that's that double-edged sword. Do I want do I want it to last longer and then wait longer, or do I want it to go down so I can get it back sooner? How is that a like, double-sided I... sword? That's a straight-up buff. It is for your consumable to re reload time. Oh. There's... Mm -hmm. I don't There's know. No... Can you can you show the the fire duration with this build? It's fire. like, oh, you'll see it. I'll be caught on fire many a times. Yeah, I, I, I want to see how it is without the damage con mod. Like, what, what the difference is there. Fire duration, 12.2 seconds. And if you take off the slot 4 module? What do you mean? Two? Or oh, no, that one? 14.4. <laughs> Two seconds, right? Yeah. Switch off that module. Okay. I, I mean, I agree. I, I would go propulsion if you're long range spamming. Propulsion's where I'd go, but okay. Hydro flag be a lot more useful than the flooding flag. Um, the problem with hydro flag, and I talk about this before a lot, is that it extends the duration of your hydro, which also means that it takes that amount of time longer for your next hydro to become available. Now, if you find yourself in a situation where you need the extra hydro action time to spot torpedoes and stuff, frankly, you're probably going to die soon anyways. And so sometimes I find it's better to not run that flag so that your next hydro is available sooner. Uh, when you're ready, you know, instead of having to wait the extra whatever time it is to make your push and, and try to time it right. I, I would also remove the flooding chance or the flooding duration flag because like, mm. let's be real, you're always going to DCP the flooding just because it also makes your engine slower. Like, it it doesn't matter. If you're using this specific unique upgrade, I agree with you, Grunty. There's no reason to double them up. I would drop that in favor of the fire chance, and I would probably pick up the consumables. And I might run this. Honestly, I might drop the anti-air and pick up the ramming flag, too. That's probably how I might build it out. 
Like, it's just a diminishing return if you stack all these effects together. Yep. Like, it... Yep. All right. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm getting hungry. So I'm going to run the replay. Let's take a look. Uh, is this a ranked game? No, random. No. This is a Q-dump. It's a Q-dump. Yeah. Like these super ships. Yeah. You've got uh, two super ships. You've got some tier nines. An even amount of destroyers. Okay. And we have one. They have two. And I literally played a game with our shimmy. Hmm prior to this one like this was mm -hmm. the next game and that guy just yoloed in okay so, so you do not you expect were, much from him you were so, not happy to have him again so you'll that is why i made the comment in chat when somebody says something okay so at this point you're on the extreme flank i would probably be cutting to the one line keeping your guns to the left here to target whatever battleship decides to go up the one, two, three line. Looks like you spent a little bit of time at one quarter speed, but you're doing exactly that now. You're going forward full speed. You're turning your guns. Okay. That's probably tapped out. Probably. I, I understand. Hindenburg. What I mean, I'm, I notice the Yamato is cutting over, mm -hmm. the Kerfers is coming over, and I don't know what the other guy's doing. It's just like he's just bowing. I'm like, okay. It's a standard. I'm, it's a it's a random battle, right? You don't you can't control what these battleships are going to do. They're just going to go do their thing. Right. I'm like, okay. I'm going to have really no support out on this one line. Is is my thoughts. Pausing it right here. I like the idea of you turning out to go into a cutting position. I don't feel like you need to keep turning. I feel like you can just go straight perpendicular to the edge of the map and then turn. Um, I think turning early here reduces your opportunities. Yeah, there's there's a lot of islands that are potentially in the way of your shells mm -hmm. if you do it right now. Exactly. My main concern is, where's the extra DD? That's a good question. That's an absolutely good question. Right? Like, that's why I don't want to go deep. No, I don't think... DD? I don't think you want to go deep. I just think you want to go, like, just along the CD line until you get spotted or you find the enemy target. Uh, what's up with your I Shimikaze? Like, there's definitely a high chance that one of the destroyers spawned on this side mm -hmm. it's just the question is will they go for the cap or will they go flanking why you could put a plane up here and start pounding down the ohio satsuma why are you choosing not to i don't want to give my position away this early okay it's, it's fair like the, the dd is over here So, Why? the thing is, you're still detected by the Hayate anyway, so... I mean, yeah, now I could've, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just... I didn't want to give what? give it away for the battleships that could possibly have pushed up, right? Like, okay. yeah, the DD blew it. Mm -hmm. Nice you hits. You could've gotten two salvos here into the destroyer. Like, if you already looked at him while he was... Radar. Radared, you could've fired immediately once he got rendered for you. Oof, what the hell just hit you? The pennies, yeah. Ah, yeah, it looked like sap shells. Okay. Ouch. Right, and he's firing dark. Mm-hmm. Now I see that... Oh, the Hanover. So the Hanover, he gave me left. The Petro... He's in a good spot to maybe deny the cap for mm -hmm. a moment. But I'm already being shot at by one guy who's not getting spotted. Mm-hmm. I'll there never wasn't... outspot the DD. Like, my only chance is if he goes on A and the petrol radar is him again. Right. And the most I'm not going to count on the curve for us to do anything. The most important part here is two battleships that came over already left and have given up that cap for whatever reason. So it's mm -hmm. just you and the Kurfist, you know, and kind of the petrol. Mm hmm. So I, I like turning around here. 
Mm -hmm. And getting in a position oh, to get out of this. I might have gone straight to the edge of the map instead of turning in like this. I mean, it's the DD, right? He's not on the cap. And mm -hmm. he definitely outspots. Like, there's literally nothing to spot him out here. True. Right. The Petro's in a in a very powerful spot, but the problem is, it's powerful if the DD goes for the cap. If the DD doesn't, it's right. you're just sitting there. Now, I mean, you know, you, you want to be able to shoot things at range. That's how you're going to keep things spotted, uh, unfortunately, is when they fire back at you, right? Yeah, and there's an angry small cloud shooting. So, like, once again, yeah, minutes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nothing to shoot at, but spot it. Now I'm yep. behind the island, so even if the Petra does, it depends on where the DD's at. I mean, you know he's in the cap because it's getting capped. Why right, did you heal here? I think I fat fingered it. Okay. Wasn't? Why not? Wasn't it max heal already? Mm, it could have been. I'm not sure. Up. Steve, uh, I'm not d detecting that, but anybody else seeing lag? All out in chat. Yeah, you wasted about three seconds of heal. Not a big deal. <laughs> Sometimes it's worth wasting a little bit of a heal just to get the cooldown going. I agree. I mean, here's the other thing. Like, nobody was going to shoot me either, right? Like, that that's when you want to heal. When you can maximize it because if you're healing while mm -hmm. being shot at you're actually taking more damage mm. okay this is when i decided i'm like okay there's nothing on this side nobody's gonna spot things are behind the island the dd will just keep a spot at while everybody i find an island that shoots me i'm going the, to the other side yeah and the petro has actually moved to the b cap so he's not gonna help you either so you're now moving into a kiting away position. There's the Ohio. He's reversing. I might actually stop and start reversing here at max range. It would have until I saw the number hit two and then go back to one. Ah, so what does that mean for you, sir? Don't know if torps are coming, but if I kite out, I should put enough distance. Okay. Yep, if well, you're going to reverse, you would definitely want to hit Hydro while you're reversing. Just to give you that extra time to dodge torpedoes. Makes sense. I mean, now we know he went behind the island. It's probably going after the curve first. That's my thought. Okay, especially with your rated location pointing you in the direction. Right. It's either that or it's the poison moving up. But, like... Yeah. I'd expect him to come out at Echo 2. Right, but he hasn't shot. Like, the Kerfer hopefully would have been able to spot him shooting, but, like, I don't see rounds going in on the Kerfer, so I'm like, it's got to no. be the Destroyer back there. Mm-hmm. So, my attitude is good luck, Kerfer. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, hey, I'm sorry, man. We both came over here, and nobody wants to help us. You're on your own now. Like, nice. we're, we're giving this flank up. Honestly, like well, ironically, the Hanover actually was the one who capped not our shimmy either. Mm. With, with with how this, yeah, I guess the Ohio comes back. I would probably actually be inclined to go after the destroyer yet because there is not much on this side of the map for the enemy team either. I agree. You would think that, but one, I got dropped by Venezia, who did slap me, and still that poison. Right. So like, what I'm you're thinking is spot that DD, and all he's got to do is just turn and. So in other words, him. what you're thinking is it's a four on two, right? You yeah. and the Kerfurst versus Venezia, Hayate, Ohio, and Poison. Okay, I can see that. Like my RPF is still behind me. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's kind of, like, it's kind of directly behind me. So that would be the Hayate, most likely, right? Yeah. That's I what mean, I would yeah. assume, right? Venezia would have been shooting. The Poison would have been shooting. 
Hey, there goes our curve first using hydro. I bet you it's probably hard to spot at the torpedoes, but it's like, I mean, like I said, it, there's the torps. At this point, I might have used the opportunity to turn back around, flip my guns, and go to like Delta 3, just to cut off whatever's chasing the curve first. You might get lucky there. It's really the poison that stopped me from going. Hmm. The poison and the Venezia. Venezia, I can understand because the sap will absolutely chew up your larger superstructure that the Germans have. There's a Venezia, he's south of A. He's not chasing either, so you know exactly where the Hayate is. That's got to be your radio location line. I mean, my attitude is draw him into the Petro. Draw him into the Petro radar. Hmm. Get, you know, get the chip damage from that guy. Have you communicated this with that Petro? Uh, no, I don't use in game chat. Anytime so, you ask anybody to do something, they'll just tell you to go to hell. So, you understand kind of where I'm trying to go with this, right? Like, oh, I get it. But I mean, you you are so far away from this now that there is zero chance that the Petro at this point is thinking, oh, he's gonna draw the DD, although I can radar him like. For all intents of purposes, you might as well be on the 10 line now. Mm. <laughs> like I said, I was playing this to mainly just farm out ribbons. Yep. I get right, it. Right, like... We're already... That, like, when I see two DDs, I'm like, great, it's already an uphill battle. Mm -hmm. right, we have one, they have two. It's an uphill battle. Right. Yeah, but you're... And you've you're lost two even... of your super ships now. But you're not climbing up that hill. Like, you're doing nothing to... Like, it, it just looks like you're... Oh, the that's not hill. Let's go down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I hate to say, but my attitude is just... like, Okay, we have cap control. Hopefully the Petro can hold B, but it's like, I, I'm just going to sit here and farm what I need to. I'm going to farm damage and farm ribbons. Mm-hmm. We're down two super ships. We haven't done anything about the DDs. I have zero faith in our shimmy to do anything useful. Right. Yep. Right. And they still have two of them, and one of them's a Z-52, which, in all honesty, should kick the shit out of the shimmy. Right. He's a threat. Look, look, how sh look how deep our shimmy is. He's dealing with the Ayate, and now he's going to turn push back into the last known for a Z. At the same time, that also tells you that it's only the Preussen moving up the A-side at this point. This is actually <laughs> really, really interesting that the Hayate got spotted there. Mm-hmm. Right. Why wasn't the Preussen shooting this entire time? Stealth? Maybe he's secondary spec and he wants to get into the range or something. You're guessing this game gets really good late. I mean, it's a pudding game. Probably does. Satsuma dies trading with the Ohio. With the uh, with the Satsuma being dead, now I'm not afraid to push into the Z. Mm -hmm. Because all I gotta do is angle against 15 inch shells, which will never overmatch me. You're talking about the Bergon shells, right? Right. Okay. The only problem will be in Azuma. Mm -hmm. From from what I see, but I was like. You, you just gotta pray that he's that's not looking like you've got to, like I'm just you gotta take the chance, you gotta kill and, a DD. And frankly, as Zumo, most players really don't know how to play her, and so you can see already on the mini map she's quite low. You're detected. There's a Z. I'm surprised I spot him at six four. He's not running concealment expert or he might have like legendary that. mods. Legendary mod is actually consistent with 6-4. Hmm. Is it? Like, I I don't... Anything that takes away concealment from a DD, with, yeah. I think, minus... Well, no, the gearing doesn't. I'm really not going to play because concealment is king. So, I'm going to mention, I might have popped my plane when I lost uh, spotting on this Z-52 just to try to... Maybe I'll get lucky and spot him, you know what I mean? I mean, my game plan was to just close ranks. And he yeah. was 6-4. Yeah, I mean, 
he didn't really have a lot of room to maneuver. He could have moved a little bit farther south earlier, but that, that's about all he could have done. And he, he's dead anyway. Yeah, but this right here, like, this is like, that's how you lose damage or lose hit points in Hindenburg, right? The, these kind EP of solos that just hit you, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It's full pen screen P. It's not going to be burned down by fires or something. Uh huh. I do not like the burn at all. I mean, nobody does, but there is a point where where you overdo the stuff to get. There's no like, such thing as overdoing anything. Always <laughs> been harder. Always been harder, says Putin. Okay, that's fair. Sorry, I'm just texting with my wife. Like it's it's like I I hate planes and therefore I'm gonna spec my shimmer into AA. No, <laughs> not necessarily. I understand Putin's perspective, if, especially if he's gonna be playing at long range. That the, the idea that he doesn't want to burn it makes sense. Um, yeah, that's why some people like to use the Montana uh, unique upgrade. It's the same idea. They just don't burn as yeah, long. Yeah, but you're but you're you're better. Like you're more likely to get farmed than. HE in, in a battleship like a Montana than you are in a cruiser like a Hindenburg. We're gone on is that double fire? You didn't switch to AP here. No, I just wanted him dead. And put the plane up just in case you die? Never mind. Why is he not shooting? Oh, there he is. Yamato saves your life. Heal, 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 heal. I'd be punching that that key. <laughs> well, I was wailing on it. Okay. That last salvo from the Borgon was so bad. I would not have <laughs> shot there. I would have waited until my next seal is available to shoot. Uh, I mean, my answer was like, we need to kill this Hanover. And I understand. Anybody, sh anybody shooting, but yeah, being spotted did not make me happy. Well, here's the problem. You don't know where the Azumo is. You don't know where the uh, Ohio is. There's the Azumo. He shot at you now. Um, you know, you've got the ability to dodge shells. Great. He's shooting Ishi at you. LOL. Um, you just, you know, that's the problem. So you don't know who's got what shells coming in from where. Like here, Oof. I might stop actually and just reverse and just keep shooting the Ohio for free. You're kind of doing that by turning into the island, so that makes sense. I don't want to come to a complete stop because, mm -hmm. like, Annenberg's really sluggish. Mm -hmm. Like, I've tried playing with the engine mod, I just I didn't like it. Okay. And again, just like the last replay, it comes down to how you choose to play the ship. You want to keep... Oh, you switched to AP, never mind. I was going to say, if you keep shooting HE, then focus on the rear. Oh, what Hayate. Hydro time. Goodbye, what? Hayate. No. What? Why? Why? Why is he here? What is happening? He wants to gift you this win. He's not interested in winning. He, I, I can't believe he didn't torp at all. Heal, 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 heal. It doesn't matter, I suppose, but I would heal. Um, I'm so confused. I am too. But hey, you came in second. I mean, I had no idea what that Hayate Hay Hay was, was even thinking. He... Easily could have killed me. Yeah. I got nothing. But random battles are random for a reason, right? Yes, they are. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at your replay render then. Here it is.
So like, looking at the replay here, you're at Delta 2. I might have kept trying to go wide. I understand you're concerned about Hayate getting a torpedo salvo on you, etc. You understand the importance of dodging stuff. And sometimes your teammates don't. So there's a little bit of value, in my opinion, to going all the way out to the D1 line, to the border of the map, and then just making it difficult for anybody to approach your curve first. You know what I mean? So we know uh, here, here that the Hayata kept this, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the time where you decided we're going over and uh, we're cutting out towards the C cap, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have two problems with this right now. For one, like, yeah, you're the kiting flank right now, but you're not really kiting. Because, like, kiting implies, like, you're going away, you're delaying the enemy, and you keep shooting. Right, mm -hmm. but, but I'm you're not actually kiting. Not, I am you're, just running. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you're just running at this point. You're not kiting anything from the... Like, you, you can't shoot of anything that's chasing you. Right. And you also kind of get fooled by your RPF. Like... You're looking at the RPF and you think, oh yeah, it's the Hayata, it's chasing there, the Hayata is there. Mm -hmm. And in the end, the Hayata turns out at a completely different place. It's the poison, right? But, right. <laughs> there still was a set of torps shot at the curve first. Correct. Right. And Hayata is what, 12 kilometers? I thought it was 10, but I could be wrong. But I mean, Either way. He, he still has to get close, and by the time RPF switched, mm -hmm. it but. And now the poison had moved up. Mm hmm You know, I mean, the other thing is, you got all these guys at BC who aren't going to support A, and if you need support at A, kill everything at BC so they come over and help. Well, just yeah. move over there and get it done for them. Right, that's another way to play it. I think it's hilarious. You are all the way at Delta 2, and now you're at, like, Golf yeah. 10. You <laughs> wear the most West ship, and then and you wear the most East ship in the same battle. <laughs> right, that's what I mean. Like, you you covered both sides of the map. Not easy to do in Hindenburg. It's not small. No, it's not. <laughs> you, you got lucky that you survived that. That, that, that program that fire... at the last salvo. No, it's not the module that saved you. What 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 saved you here was his bad shooting. <laughs> it's a Bergon. It's French. <laughs> Fair, <laughs> right? You still should have died there. I should have been so dead there. I will never yeah. disagree with that. I should have been so dead. <laughs> mm hmm. It the, the Hayata should have torped me. But I yeah, mean, I, if I, he was right there too, why wasn't he shooting me when I was at so, zero HP? But the other thing is, you had hydro available. You could have easily just hydroed and boom, you win against the torps, right? Like, whatever. Yeah, I don't know that Hayata played this very, yeah. very weird. Well, it's not, it's not clan battles, so this is happens. This is randoms, you know. Yeah, I, I would definitely suggest to you to try out those the aiming systems and the prop mod again. I. I really so, believe you're not getting out a lot of the damage con mod and the turret traverse mod. Put and I pause the replay here, the render here, because this is where you had the opportunity. Instead of turning back to the east, this is where you had the opportunity to just keep hiding out to the a to the edge of the map, and then you've got propulsion to use when you need it. You pop your hydro. You're detecting torps. If the torps are detected, you pop. You know, push full forward to full W. And you'll probably dodge all but maybe one at the worst torpedo. But you, you probably also dodge all of them. Hayata torps right. have a bad detection range, right. and you you got the the legendary mod with help, which helps with the rudder. But what I'm what I'm saying though is you 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 know you're going to mitigate most of that incoming damage. On top of that, you act as a barrier to prevent the enemy team from pushing you. Right. Right. Like the Proison, if you look at it, in a couple minutes, the Proison's going to be exactly where you are, the enemy Proison. And the reason he felt okay going up there is frankly because nobody's there, right? So he, he gets up there. He ends up dying, but he gets up there. And like, that, that signifies a huge threat for your team. I, I think this is where mindset 
comes in to play. This was the last game I played at night. It was a mm. long night. This was after clan battles. Yep. I have played where teams have like yep. played so so selfishly. It's like you yep. know what? I, you don't want to think. I get, get ready it. to bleep. Get ready to bleep. F you guys. I'm playing for me. Because when there's I play Hindenburg, I don't want to think. Venezia, there's a Venezia that was on this flank. I there's get a Poison. Mm -hmm. There's the Hayate. The Ohio can turn his guns. The Satsuma can turn the guns. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. I pushed down. I killed a DD. What is my team going to do? Just sit there and let the enemy team win anyway. Screw you, people. I'm here yep. to get ribbons. So yep. good luck. I agree with not pushing down. I, I think that's yeah, a silly I wouldn't idea. Push down. I, I would have said, like, you were so worried about the poison that hasn't shown that he could do anything yet. Mm. Like, yeah. this goes back to Grunty. And especially if you say, like, you, hey, I want to farm ribbons, then great, oh, yeah. here's the poison. Farm the crap out of the poison. <laughs> this comes back to that uh, the game we were playing earlier today, Grunty. Remember when I said it was a Jaeger game, right? And you could have chased down that, uh, whatever it is, Marceau? a tier nine, the Marceau. And it was like you automatically discounted that option because of what how you would have played that ship and where you would have appeared because you know how that player is probably going to play that ship. You expected him to kite away. You expected not to be able to kill him. What did he do? He turned in and he pushed. He came back, yeah. You could it, have I mean, easily main, killed him. The main reason I discounted for the fact is that his ship is five knots faster than mine. Like, yeah, I, I, know. I would have... I know. Like it's it's not the fact that I can't kill it with my guns. I can't shoot it. I, but let's I get to this. I expect it to never see it again. <laughs> let's get to this replay though. Put into the exact same thing, right? He thought, okay, Venezia's here, Poison's here, Ohio's here, Satsuma's here, Hayate's here. He thought to himself, it's one against five. He's already said my curve first is probably dead. So he played the game accordingly, which I understand. I mean, here's but, the other thing. I'm at D2 now. When does the poison get respotted? Not for some time. Right. By the time I make it to D8, like, A, like, I would love the farm him. I really want to get ribbons, but it's like, poison, can you hurry the hell up? Well, he's not coming. Scroll. Well, and so this is the part where if you were at C2 looking left over your shoulder heading towards C1 border, maybe you would have had more luck. You would have been spotting him. You could have been shooting him. Maybe. I don't know. It depends on where the poison is. We don't know. Right. I mean, yeah. I'm thinking yeah. the poison is going to turn around and not push, right? Because that's what the meta is. Play everything at well, range. And if he does that, fine. Then let him reveal himself as doing that before you make the determination, right? Let him shoot you while you're spotted or the curvers while he's spotted. You see the shells, you know that's what he's doing. I, I mean, I get it, but I mean, the other thing is we, we always say this. Like, Hindenburg's got rapid fire guns. If you're not shooting, you're not playing. Like, you need to get mm -hmm. these guns into the game somehow. Mm hmm. Right. And I think that was more Venezia shots coming in on, on us. Like, there's Hayate Torp, so he's still north. He's Foxtrot or Echo 3, which is about where he was last spot, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I mean, what. Out the poison being spotted, which yeah, I probably could have done. You know, then it turns into it's so weird. maybe like, the curve first still, phase. It turns That's into the, the Hayate, Hayate having torps. to deal with you, right? Having to try to torpedo you when you're in a position that can probably handle it. Versus, you would expect your curve first not to. He's still alive, so BG for your curve first. Curve first yeah, got that... hydro, and it was he was doing the same thing I was. Just give him this flank. It, there's. There's two of us versus a DD. Mm -hmm. Like you, nine times out of ten, the DD normally wins wins this. Mm -hmm. And Poison actually wins against the curve first. I mean, they tie, but that's a win in terms of trades. Well, I mean, it's a win for us more than them. Ultimately, it's a better trade for your team at this point, yes. God, I wish you could see the enemy team's movement here. Right? I, I really want to know how this Hayate went from topping the Kufras there, because, like, I, I kind of agree that it had to be Hayate tops. It was too far for Venezia once. 
to then being back spotted in H6. Like, uh -huh. like what? You mean, <laughs> yeah, you mean Golf 7. There it is right there. Boom. I, I mean, the whole thing, like all of the moment is questionable. Even like, I won't deny that mine wasn't. Yep. But I mean, like I said, like, you know, th this is where it, it's like late. It's the last game. Yeah. Every other it. team you've you've played with, this is how people are playing tonight. So, yep, I this get is it. how I've got to play. I completely get it, and it makes perfect sense. You know, at this point, you're just like to hell with this. I, I'm I'm ready to go to bed. Let's do one or two more games. I get it. Yeah, I'm I'm tired of being on a punching bag and not getting out. Right. right. I've already had two BBs. Just leave. Yep. How can I trust this curve first? Right. I mean, you could because he didn't leave. I like think, if, like, yeah. I think the I mean, big difference here would have been me trying to communicate with him. If you were able to get some sort of text communication, I know you said you don't pay attention to chat, but here's where if you if you were able to make that communication, that connection, maybe the two of you could have worked together, right? Yeah, you. Could, I mean, like, I, mean I do believe I saw the Petra already re like reverse to relocate. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm just like, I'm tired of being people's punching bag. Like, I'm not exactly spec the best way to go mm -hmm. out there and not be spotted, right? Yeah, I get it. I get it. Like, like I'm going to spot things by being shot at. I guess what? I kind of don't want to be shot at right now. Sure. Want to keep my, want to keep the distance so I can keep dodging easier. It's a it's a nice game. It it showcases the strengths of the Hindenburg at medium to long range. We never saw any close range fighting, uh, but nope, that's nope. okay. The Hayate was four. Okay, four I'm, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I don't consider it, that close range fighting. I consider that the enemy gifting you their ship. Close range well, fighting to me is where you need to use your torpedoes. You need to worry about angling where your turtle back comes into play. You know what I'm talking about. I know that I didn't happen with the Hayate. He just appears. So, whatever. But, I mean, Hindenburg's a great ship. So, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's fine. I, I like it because it a lot of players do exactly what you're doing. We were able to talk through the pros and the cons of both decisions, right? S staying or going like you did. It's fine. I mean, I think a lot of people's decisions is based on your previous game. Not, of course right? it is. It's experience based, absolutely. You know, right. no, 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 no. The, you're completely wrong here. If people would make their decisions based on the previous game, th that would mean that they are kind of learning. Of course they are. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but the, but you have to understand, Crunchy. Every game is a random battle, and there are a lot of people in this game, especially at this point who don't belong in the tiers that they belong in. We've talked about this before. The problem is, is that they don't understand how to get help, where to get help, who to get help from. They just keep playing. Eventually, they will either improve or not. Hell, but the they don't problem... even know how to ask for it. Right. But the problem like, is... I knew I could have asked that Bonks guy. And he he may... He, like, let's, let's just be honest, right? He doesn't know me. I don't know him. I know Bonks. He knows Peon. Yep. Hey man, yep. I'm gonna try to hold this flank. Can you help me? Yep. He might have stayed, knowing That's that. That's right. Hey, I have somebody who's not a complete window licker trying to hold a flank by himself. Yes. And that's what I'm talking about where the communication comes in so handy. Yes, you're in a clan, but even if you weren't, the fact that you're communicating, you're trying to work with somebody, if I'm in a random battle and I see somebody doing that, I'll try to help out. Now, if it's somebody being an armchair admiral, I'll laugh. But, you know, if, if it's a situation like right here in your, re in your render where you're like, Kerfers, are you staying with me or are you going? That implies a certain level of understanding of this game to where Kerfers says, I'm staying. Okay, cool. I'm staying too then. And together, we're going to deal with this, this flank, right? You didn't do that, though. You just kind of said, ah, to hell with you, Kerfers, goodbye. And Kerfers yeah. lived for, for his, for you know, for, for to his, to his, uh, Credit. He lived. So I mean, he trade. He ended up trading with with the price. Not the worst option. No. 
So, fine, but I, f I do feel like you guys could have done more work together if you had communicated. But whatever, you didn't. It's fine. NBA says, that's why I'm here for help. I am a window licker. Hey, we were all window lickers at some point. You're welcome to look me up and look at my close battle stats where I had a 46% win rate. According to Matchmaking Monitor, I would be one of those red players that nobody wants to deal with ever. Yet here I am, a community contributor with a 69% win rate in World of Warships. Hmm. Funny how that works. Alright, are, are we good to hang this up? I think we've kind of... Yeah. So, yeah. name. I'm, I'm thinking of Run versus Kite as a name. Any other names you can think of? I, what is this movement? Like, both teams. What is this movement? Like... Okay. I mean, why is the Z-52 all the way up on the ten line too? That part is confusing as all heck. Other than right. maybe he maybe he was trying to go into position to torp the Ohio. Or, or actually, he probably figured the Ohio was about to die, so he went to position to torp the Amato Jean Bart, and then you show up right there. Yeah, he's shooting the Ohio right now. He wants the Ohio to die. And then... Now what he's mean, looking... he stays south, he kills the... He, he, he probably gets a double strike, kills the Shimmy and the Ohio. He's not thinking, he's getting greedy. He's looking at the Yamato and the Jean Bart as torpedo opportunities. Realizes, oh crap, puts a smoke up when the Ohio doesn't die. You just happen to be right there and you punish him hard for it. All of the destroyers played this questionable. Yeah, sure. It's a random battle. Congratulations, you're not one of the destroyers, you know. Okay. <laughs> that, that, I mean, you know, that that's the thing, right? Like, this is one of those games where if Grunty was in this game with you, or if I was in it and I was with Grunty, he'd be whining and complaining the whole game. I understand why, too. I'd be complaining, too. Yeah, but that's I mean, what I mean. Like, if, if we were together, yeah, I probably would have stayed one, too, because I actually have somebody I know I can no. depend upon. That's right. I'm, I'd, I'd, I'd honestly be mad at the super ships because one of them stayed in queue for way too long, making this matchmaking possible in the first place. So it's like I mean, in the olden days when we had carriers like that, and you'd be like, all right, which one of you carriers sat in queue longest so I know who to report? I, I mean, the funny thing is when you see super ships, mm -hmm. I really think that these guys just aren't good because anybody who's like, a good, they, we don't play them. They, they no. don't play them. No, because it's too expensive to repair them, essentially, post-battle. Yeah, I mean, granted, you know, once in a blue moon, you, you'll, you'll, you know, see the top-tier players play them, but they're, they're actively trying to do something. They're mm -hmm. divved up with somebody, right? They're mm -hmm. trying to leaderboard it. Mm -hmm. Or doing snowflakes or a mission or whatever. Yeah, right. Yeah. It... Okay. All right, so I've got run, kite, or movement. I'll decide later which of those. Why not all three? Just run, kite, and movement. Well, there's only so much space on a cover picture, but yeah. Okay. You could name it 1 to 10, because he went from the 1 line to the 10 line. I don't think I made it to the 1 line. I came close. <laughs> yeah, it would be 2 <laughs> to 9, really. I don't think yeah, you ever made it to the 10 line either, technically. So... That's not as funny. <laughs> it's not, but he doesn't do it otherwise. So if I did that, that would be clickbait. And I can't do Listen, clickbait. You don't understand how YouTube comments are. They will <laughs> criticize for that. You never touched it's the great. one line. He got, he got a comment. He got interaction. <laughs> awesome. 